after you have installed plasma anywhere any plasma in this case echo plasma or arch linux plasma or linux plasma just plasma right it's rising the fun starts after the installation because uh, i don't like the design and this and that right this is the button or the button is here as well system settings you can find it here in the menu somewhere else as well make it big read everything select everything read everything make your choices and one of the things i'll do that's a tip for people where the plasma system is powering down sleeping and can't wake up yes that happens when inactive do nothing right do nothing disable automatic suspension blah 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 right make sure that it will not go to sleep by default so it depends on the system and updates and what you come and get in so this is a place to be if the system goes to sleep and never wakes up again it dies it's black screen you get a, ma a mouse sometimes and that's it so i quickly go in here and change this uh, for the rest, yeah, rising, right? Rising is about appearance and style. Wallpaper. They have beautiful wallpapers. They really do. But maybe you have your own wallpapers. That's fine too. Right? You can add wallpapers. There's so much to try. Even get new plugins. I mean, there are things I haven't tried. And that's the fun in Plasma. There are so many settings in there that you say oh look at that get new never press the button on get new hmm okay and you have a look all right just install click and install colors and themes same thing lots of um, possibilities also the get new button down this means a global theme it means it's going to override all kinds of settings which settings the color the night light the application style the plasma style right this is a bunch of separate things you can change on your computer. This will, the global theme will change a lot at one go. So this seems to be interesting in the code, in the sense that it's going to be fast, right? It's going to be efficient, going to be complete, but it's going to be the vision of somebody else from Eliva Verlara or Vince Lewis, right? Uh, use with caution, uh, user created content shown here as you may contain exhibible code that hasn't been tested by KDE or the, uh, no. Right, it's what? Well, yeah, it's true, and it's exactly the same message on AOR the Arch user repository. Arch says we're not responsible, right? It's the user, user created content. But then again, um, if it's on a virtual machine, right? test it out we can go to a seven look so windows 7 fan and you have a look and you say okay no oh, problem right server did not reply so stop already whatever it wants to access it's not there let's see if we get always this error yep so it's a bad time to make a video <laughs> it will get fixed over time again <laughs> such is life right so I'll close this one. And let's stick to what we have done. Colors, I can change to our dark, apply. The night light, oh yeah. Um, maybe more things, well yeah. You can add more things. Um, so accent color, this can be changed. As well here, get new, but I guess it will always be in the same thing. Yeah, voila, network error 500 means the server is down. Uh, application styles, this is interesting to know. GNOME GTK application, Arc Dark is set by default. So by default, we do like the dark things. But if that's not your thing, then the GNOME and GTK applications become white now and dark now. Okay. Plasma style. So the look that we have here. We take our color and we apply. I always forget to do that. Then we get another color, a little bit different. 
if we take this one apply it changes color a little bit not that much but it's all in the gray range right we're now breeze if you like this blue thing glow around it you take that one you can also go for our dark now we have this text and fonts super important for me and also great way of doing things all right size everything in one go 12 boom and then one go changed except this one which is then small which makes sense apply i can read better <laughs> too big for you good for me right so have a look as was possible there's so so much possible i mean i can go to the right mouse click show panel configuration we see this position i can put it like kos here i can put it in alignment um, center and so on i can do the visibility always visible opacity style floating floating or not I think that's because of my position that I've chosen. So if I take this alignment center, mm, 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 mm. Uh, this this is the one I want. Uh, fit content is something interesting to look at, I think. So a smaller menu. And once you get more applications, it will create a little bit more space. Not this one, I guess. But if you install uh, Chromium, is one of the things we've added on our list. So it's here now, and I can pin it to the task manager if I want. So next time around, it's still there. Can remove this one. All good. We can do a right mouse click. We can um, desktop and wallpaper. That's just this. Mouse actions, location, icons. No, it's not where I am, what I what I do, what I change. We can go, is it, where is the, where is the, I'm looking for something. Let me f try to find it. I don't see here, no, icons, no. Enter edit mode. Enter edit mode these days. Add or manage widgets, add panel. I think one panel is enough, but okay. Manage desktops and panels. So this is the one I want to try out. Do I want the clock? It's new, apparently. Do I want the clock somewhere? Let's say, okay, let's say we want exit and then we're gonna click on it. But I think it's about two seconds. Click and wait, voila, because this is way too big put it somewhere I don't know there this is way too small <laughs> all right stuff like that you can also add things in the bar up here add or manage widgets so in here as well you can stuff put some stuff I'm not sure if we can add it here yeah we can but it's unreadable eh? can't do anything with it what sometimes is interesting to is watch the CPU and see how hard it's working right some people do that i want to see these color things moving around but beat up right i am in love with beat up this is what i like to the terminal we go and see how many cpus we have only four virtual box remember and then we have so many more possibilities i guess but have a look around plasma can be great and if you combine it like i said if you combine it with a simple a tiling window manager via the att or in my case cat chat wm can't resist to put it in the video <laughs> and what do i get i get both worlds i get a desktop with all its complexities i mean it has everything you ever want to have right all of this anything you may desire is probably going to be in here 
but you need to take your time sit down click on everything test everything VirtualBox is ideal for that and if you mess it up you reinstall it and figure out how plasma works and then combine it maybe maybe with a tiling manager so so if we gonna go for i can i can probably do let's see i can probably do a logout and then we have already a nice theme sdm simplicity theme we have wayland here chat wm here et voila i can switch around and learn how does this work and okay this looks strange why does it look strange can i change the icons the wallpaper all the questions will come where's the configuration for this thing it's going to be here where's all the information arclinuxd.com the d stands for desktops the desktop is called chat all right a fun learning about linux arch Linux, arclinux plasma chat cheers